Get lost in downtown Edmonton? Lucky for you, I have a solution so you'll never get lost again. I'm Jenny Bellamy, real estate associate realtor with Yeg Pro Realty. I don't know what it is about downtown Edmonton, but some people struggle to get around. I help several people a week downtown that are lost. And it's surprising to me because I think downtown is the easiest part of the city to navigate. I think you might agree with me once you know this simple little trick that will help you never get lost in downtown Edmonton again. You're not gonna need Google, Google Maps, any kind of navigation system. You're gonna be able to do this on your own without anyone's help and without your phone. How many, how many things can you do without your phone? Before we get started, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out on videos I post weekly. Okay, so downtown Edmonton is basically a grid with numbered streets and numbered avenues. In downtown Edmonton, you won't need to worry about what quadrant of the city you're in. Most places in Edmonton are in the Northwest quadrant and all of downtown is in the Northwest. If you're familiar with cities like Calgary, all the quadrants intersect in downtown. So in cities like Calgary, it's really important to know which quadrant you're in. But thankfully in Edmonton, that's one less thing you need to worry about. Okay, so the key to never ever getting lost in downtown Edmonton is to remember this. Avenues run east to west. So the avenue number gets bigger as you move north. Streets run north to south. And the street number gets bigger as you head west. But how do you know what's north, west, east, and south? Well, there's a couple ways that you can tell. You can simply walk one block and see if the number goes up or down. Or you can look for major landmarks that you know to be north or south or east or west. Okay, so I think we really need to go over an example. So let's say you're at the Parlor Italian Kitchen, which is located on 103rd Ave and 108th Street. And you want to head over to Churchill Square, which is located on 102nd Avenue and 100th Street. So since the avenue numbers get bigger as you move north, that means they also get smaller as you move south. Since the Ave for Churchill Square is 102nd Ave, which is smaller than the Parlor's Ave of 103rd Ave, if you were to head south, the avenue number would get smaller. So in this example, you would head south by one block. Remember, street numbers get bigger as you move west. So that means that they also get smaller as you move east. In our example, Churchill Square is on 100th Street and the parlor is on 8th Street. That means we have to reduce the number by eight blocks. And since Churchill's street number is smaller than the parlor street number, we would have to head east. So another way to tell which direction to go is by major landmarks. A couple major landmarks in downtown that could help you when you're out looking for things are Rogers Place. Rogers Place is on the north edge of downtown and fairly central from an east-west perspective. So if you're at Rogers Place and you're walking and you see Grand McEwen ahead of you, that means that you're heading west. Alternatively, if you're at Rogers Place and you see City Hall or Epcor in front of you, that means that you're heading east. Hotel McDonald is a great south landmark and it's more east in downtown. So so if you're there and you see the Edmonton Convention Center, you know that that is east and opposite of that is obviously west. Alternatively, you can use the legislative grounds as a south landmark, but that is more west. So if you're at the ledge grounds and you see like the high level bridge, then you know that that direction is west and opposite to that is east. Okay, so quick recap of what we Avenues get smaller as you head south and larger as you head north. Street numbers, on the other hand, get smaller as you head east and larger as you head west. Well, I hope this information gives you a way better understanding of how to get around downtown and so you'll never get lost again and you won't need your phone. 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye. Thank you.